So guys, what's up? So today I'm going to show you how to install TWRP and root your device. Samsung Galaxy S2 is a decent quality Android smartphone which comes with a 4 inch TFT touch screen display powered by 1.2 GHz dual core processor along with 768 MB RAM. If you are using this smartphone and looking for a way to install TWRP and root it, you are in the right place. I will give you a tutorial to install TWRP and root Samsung Galaxy S2 that is GT S7582. By following the given tutorial given here you will able to root your Samsung Galaxy S2 and therefore have ability to remove pre-installed system applications install install custom ROMs firmware of your choice. So guys firstly uh, we need uh, firstly I will show you its stock recovery turn off your device wait for it to vibrate now press the volume up button power button and home key uh, hold them together and wait for some seconds so guys it is the stock recovery which Samsung provide us with this model but we can't do any uh, we can't install any roms with this as it is the official recovery so first of all we have to replace it with the twrp recovery so firstly i will reboot my device Now guys let, let us start, firstly I will power off my device completely. I need only the few things, the Odin, uh, the some root files which I have placed in my SD card and TWRP. So firstly I will connect the device with the USB cable to connect it with the PC. And now I press the uh, power button, uh, volume down button and the home button. Uh, so it's a warning so guys we have to ignore it. Now let's come to my, come to our PC. The required files are here. Firstly, I need uh, need the Odin. I opened it. So, guys, it's the latest Odin, Odin three, and here you can uh, here you can clearly see the TWRP folder which I have highlighted. This one. Firstly select the PDA and locate that file, here is my file TWRP, open, uh, as, soon, as soon as my device connects, uh, here you can see the blue background. So first let's come back to our phone, uh, volume up to continue, so we have to continue, so just volume up it, uh, now you can see on the clearly the blue background 0.com7 and it's added, so now click on the start button, you can see on the bottom, start, you can see the programs loading. Now my 
device restarted you can see it's normally booting it's normal boot no change we can see that our device is working fine not different at all so let's check our recovery power of the device wait for it to power off so now my device has completely turned off now press the same buttons volume up power key and the home button you can see the red exclamation mark on the top of the screen that's normal no need to worry now you can see it's team win recovery project just click on it and swipe so it's the uh, TWRP recovery version 2.8.7.0 now in order to root we have to go to install and select the micro SD card or where you have placed at root files here are my root files super zip click on it and you can swipe it's done you can click on remote system now you can see no change it will start normally no need to worry the same Samsung logo you can see that Android is upgrading that is we we have successfully installed that super su app or the rooted app swipe down the phone it's working normally so guys here is our super su app the root app so guys it's that super SU app we have successfully rooted our device but guys we have to take care because if we don't follow these steps or use any other steps you can definitely break your device and can harm your device so guys see you in my next video thank you